Well, fellas, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Today, I've got a solo gameplay. They finally released solos. It is a blast. If you haven't played it, you gotta get into it. But uh, a little cherry on top. I was using Bloodhound with the new heirloom set. So I went ahead and unlocked the heirloom set so I could get a video out to you guys to show you what the heirloom looks like in-game. Uh, funny enough, the first kill was actually a melee kill with it, and the way you melee people with the axe is so cool. You'll, you're gonna see it. Um, so I guess I'll cut into live comms. I hope you guys enjoy. Yo, what do you guys think of solos? Comment down below. If you've played solos, let me know what you think. I'm not gonna lie, I was really skeptical at first, but now that I played it, I absolutely love it. I really hope they make it a permanent game mode, because it's... It's a lot of fun, so. Anyways, guys, enough rambling. I'm gonna cut into live comms. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you guys on the next video. Okay, I respect it. A fellow Octane main, Shadow Maw, I see you. Speaking of Octane, I'm probably gonna mess up so much during this game. I've been playing Octane nonstop. I'll be running around as Bloodhound, hitting L1, trying to stim my way through buildings and stuff, and uh, not really doing anything, just scanning stuff, you know? <laughs> we'll see what we can do, though. It's been a while since I played Bloodhound. Looks like Skulltown's gonna be pretty poppin'. Hopefully there's a few people at Repulsor. I assume there's gonna be because the circle's like right here. Alright, let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can land on a gun and uh, make things happen early on. Hey, Mr. Octane. Okay, we gotta protect all we gotta protect the Octane. I'm one of you. Dude, the melee animation for this thing is so sick. Is this how we're gonna start the video off? I'm gonna melee a dude to death? Come here, Bangalore, a little noodle. <laughs> okay. And just like that, that's, that's the, the heirloom in action, boys. That's the heirloom in action right there. I had to protect the Octane, listen. I had to protect the Octane. All right, I should probably focus up a little bit. There's still quite a few people here, but uh, you know, we're looking good. Blue armor, R400, okay. We got the the old classic, the throw 199. Oh man, the way he flips this thing around on his hands, that's so sick. I wonder what that charm is on there. I wonder what that means. Dude, the way he flicks that axe around when he's sliding is so sick. Alright, I see the icon for people there and I hear people shooting. It sounds like they're farther away though. I don't know if anybody's here. Let me check. Okay, I think they, I think they ran out the building. Yeah, they're shooting. They're probably down... By the bridge, maybe? Yep. Alright, we found the culprit. This is the joys about playing Bloodhound right there, is you can just track them. Ooh. Oh, yo, I should mention. Hang on. Okay. I should mention this. Uh, if you guys are finding yourself using the R301, and uh, you're finding it weird to control the recoil, they actually changed the recoil pattern on the 301. They increased the horizontal and the vertical recoil. So the 301's actually got way more recoil than it did before. I'm probably gonna try to get rid of the 301 if I can, to be honest, just because I'm not used to the to the recoil. I'd rather use the uh, 99. And there's a longbow. There's There goes the 301, just like that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And purple armor on this guy? Yes, sir. Oh, fantastic. And the skull piercer just sitting right on the ground. All I need is a little bit of heavy ammo, and we're rocking and rolling, boys. Nice. Good start. Punched a man to death. We got the loadout. We got purple armor. I, I think I, you know what I need now? I need a screenshot for a thumbnail, because I am confident that this is going to be the game. I'm confident. I hope I didn't just jinx it right there. <laughs> I hope I didn't just jinx it, dude. All right, I'm gonna run through this building, see if I can find some heavy ammo. My enemies will find me inside this ring. And then we're gonna go find a nice spot to take a thumbnail. I'm gonna show y'all how I make my thumbnails, okay? Nice, we're looking really good, actually. The loadout is getting better and better. More heavy ammo, perfect. Being really, <laughs> we're being blessed. All right, let's see if the lighting's good. Uh, that's a little bit dark. So this is how I make my thumbnails. I basically just try to... Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Rudely interrupted. I'm just trying to make a thumbnail. Why do you gotta act up like that? Now I'm gonna have to come and kill you. Poor little fella. <laughs> what are you doing, little guy? What are you doing? What's up? Oh, yikes. Okay. 
Alright, hold up. I gotta focus up. Damn. <laughs> I missed so many shots on that guy the first time. Alright, we got him down, and now we can try to see if we can get a nice little thumbnail. It was too dark over there. We gotta make the axe look really good. We got a care package up here. We got some better lighting over here. Let's go see what we can do. Maybe we can get a Kraber. I'm gonna go see if there's a Kraber in here. I'll take the battery and the refresh, okay. Okay. And then completely forget that I was gonna inspect the axe over there because there was better lighting. <laughs> oh my god, I'm an idiot, dude. All right, whatever, we're moving on, we're moving on. There's gotta be more people here, I'm sure of it. Let's see if I can see him. Let's go on that balloon and try to jump on somebody, maybe. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what you hiding for, little guy? Okay, we're don't go on the. You're just gonna jump right off, huh? Now you're gonna run away, huh? Ooh, you are hurting unit, little Pathfinder. Nice, going up. I love that Bloodhound buff so much. That makes such a big difference. Quit making things difficult. Just come accept your fate. Why must you make things difficult? Die. I talk an enemy's life. That dude was just running around. I mean, he wanted to live. Our huh? Leave me alone. I mean, he hits those with that triple take. He hit me a couple times there. This is kind of uh, a bad situation, though, for me. Unless I unless I double headshot him, assuming he heals, I'm probably not going to get the kill on him. And he's above me, so all he needs to do is back up. And I've got no mobility to get up there. Did he... he he's trying to shotgun me. Dude, this guy's a maniac. What are you doing trying to shotgun me from there? I mean, it did do quite a bit of damage, actually. Surprising. I respect it. Round two. Beginning ring I'm gonna see if I can get a different angle on him, man. There's, I, don't, I don't think I, I kill him from that angle unless I double headshot him. All he needs to do is just back up a little bit and I won't even be able to see him. Or I'll just double body shot him because he doesn't want to heal. Perfect. The honor of killing Couldn't have been any better. Yeah, all he needed to do there, all, all he needed to do was take a shot, back up. Take a shot, back up. I hear somebody like underneath me. Oh, he's over there. I don't know which way he's going. It doesn't sound like he's in the house anymore. It sounds like he kept walking. Oh, that's why he didn't heal. He didn't have any. That's tough, dude. Mm, damn. Oh my god, I missed it. Alright, we're going on foot. Two feet and a heartbeat, boys. I'm calling it right now. I guarantee that there's a few people hiding in slums. I guarantee it. There's always people hiding on this outside edge because, like, they think that nobody knows about the outside edge. Hold on. Those steps aren't the guys. That Three? How much health does that leave him with? See what I mean? I literally called this. This is so. Uh, there's so many people down here. I knew there would be. People think that hiding on that outside edge is smart, but it's really not. It's an awful decision. You really have nowhere to go, and there's so much cover where I'm from. Like, there's no way that I should die to these guys. 
What was that weird little sp That wasn't just me, was it? Beginning ring countdown. That was like a weird like the the gas or the the ring did like something weird there. I don't know. Whatever. We're going to move on. I really want to get rid of this one guy that's like close to me. I know damn well. That poor little Octane. I can't believe you didn't hear me. That dude must not be playing with a headset. Good headset is important. It really is. He should have heard me walking on the outside edge. I'm surprised he didn't. There's still that Pathfinder on the outside somewhere. I wonder if my attack, attack ability has range. I know they increased the range of the ability in this update. I kind of just want to push him, to be honest. Let's see if that'll uh, stir the pot a little bit. Maybe he'll jump out. Nope. Alright, I had enough of this little guy. Should be a Pathfinder. Dude, where, he's gone! <laughs> he grappled off the map, dude. Okay, there's still more. We're out of there. Taking a moment to recharge my shields. Dude, I feel so cool walking around with this axe in my hand. I'm so happy that I got a melee kill at the beginning of the game. It, the melee attack with this thing is so sick. Alright, let's see what I can do with these guys over here. Alright, at least I hit him once. There's a lot of people around still. This is actually... Now, what were you shooting at? Because he was shooting at somebody over there. Hmm. Alright, the circle's getting smaller and smaller, and there's still a lot of people left. Does he go... Oh, he's one shot. Oh, if only that second one was a headshot, too. There's so many people still here, though. People could be hiding anywhere. Circles like this are intimidating at the end. Because you can literally get shot from anywhere. I'm probably just going to play this roof, I think. We still got circle. Inside this ring. Nobody's underneath me. We're just going to chill. Damn, he really didn't want none of it. He, he ran, ran. Man, I can't hit this octane. Yikes. That's the one that I almost uh, killed a few seconds ago. I'm surprised he didn't get shot from that guy at that loot crate. There's a guy at that loot crate, then there's a guy underneath. Mm, not looking very good on heals either. Somebody just went underneath me. Oh, it would be a caustic too. It would be a caustic. Hopefully he doesn't know about this uh, shoot through the roof strat. Maybe I can kill him as he comes up. If he comes up. I assume he's going to come up. Nice. That octane is underneath me and that caustic is underneath me. I don't know if that cost went off though. Let's check again. Let me get this off though. Ooh, he knows. Okay, okay. Nice shots, dude. That's a decent player. It's a decent player, for sure. He's even hitting me through the little cracks? I'm not looking very good for heals. I want to push into that guy, but I just heard an octane pad. I think he's trying to pad onto my roof. What are you doing, little guy? Come on. You get out of here. You're interrupting. There's still one other guy left, though. I don't know where he is. He's got to be underneath that house. Yeah, I saw him. Mm, 
Nice, that's a big kill. Alright, let's get this guy out of the way. Oh, he's gonna die to storm for sure. This is an intense little ending. This is like the last circle. Alright, 1v1. There we go. Oh man, I didn't even think I should have meleeed him. I should have used the, the heirloom. Oh, I said I was going to use it at the beginning too, didn't I? Oh well. Oh well. I meleeed the first guy to death. Well, there you have it. First solo one with Bloodhound using the heirloom. And a live comm, which I don't do these very often, as you guys know. Usually I'm either streaming or I'm playing with friends, so it's a, it's a little bit awkward. Let me know if you guys liked it. Maybe I'll do some more in the future. We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next video.